Hey, what's going on guys? Dylan DeJesus here. Thank you so much for joining us for another video. Today we're back with even more design ideas for your very first custom sneaker or just a little bit of inspiration for your next project. This is actually a follow-up video to one that we did previously similar to this with just a ton of different ideas that you could do. So go and check that one out if you haven't already. But you guys requested that we go ahead and do another one with even more ideas. So we are super excited to bring this back. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into some of these. So first off, you could do a superhero or villains type theme. I mean, the superhero genre is bigger than it's ever been before. Take a look at the box office anytime Marvel drops absolutely anything nowadays. But there is an absolutely huge array of characters that you could draw inspiration from for your project. Next up, we have a splatter design. And there's quite a few different ways that you can achieve an effect like this, whether that's through the toothbrush method or you just wanna fling the paint with a paintbrush, you can use the splatter as an accent within your design or do it across an entire pair of shoes. Number three is gonna be a color palette design. So head over to Google, type in color palette, and there is going to be an unlimited amount of resources that you can sift through. And you're gonna see colors grouped together that you would have never imagined could work together before. But I guarantee that you'll be able to find some really unique palettes that you would love to draw inspiration from for your next design. Next up, we have recreating a painting. Now I have seen some amazing iterations over the years of some of the most famous paintings of all time, whether that's Starry Night or the creation of Adam. When these are well done, these can create an absolutely amazing custom sneaker. At number five, we have a 90s pattern. So whether you wanna to try to tackle the Bel Air theme or just play around with a bunch of different neons and some of those fun shapes, either way, these can quickly turn into a really nostalgic and eye-catching piece. Next up, we have a prism design and you can play with this one in a lot of different ways, whether you wanna do a much more structured method or you could just be a lot more free flowing with it, not trying to be perfect at all, where you essentially just have a lot of different colors shaded in a lot of different directions, still a really fun effect to play with. At number seven, we have a stripes theme. So whether you wanna do them big and bold or thin and subtle, or you're trying to play around with the flag effect, there's a lot that you can do here with this theme. Next up, we have an underwater or an aquatic theme. So this has to be one of my favorite concepts to play around with, just mixing in all of the different shades of blue. There's a ton of other things that you can incorporate, like bubbles, the waves, the sand, fish, other sea animals. Gotta love all the possibilities here. At number nine, we have a graffiti theme. So maybe you've never gotten to actually play around with graffiti before. Well, I have good news for you because this is one of those themes that I think can translate really well onto a pair of shoes. And I know this is something that I have a ton of fun playing around with this concept. Next up, we have a pop art theme. So if you're looking to play around with some really bright and bold colors, here's your chance and you can easily draw inspiration from some of the greats who really helped push this movement like Andy Warhol and like Keith Haring. At number 11, we have the classic classic Warhawk theme. Another one of those themes that I would bet is probably on the top 10 list for most popular custom sneaker designs of all time. I've seen this theme done on a ton of different silhouettes in a ton of different colors, and when done correctly, it just seems to work every single time. Next up, we have an NBA jersey theme. So there's a ton of timeless classics that you can pick from. You have those Bulls pinstripe jerseys, you have those 90s era teal Pistons jerseys that Grant Hill wore, and now every single year, the NBA releases new city edition jerseys. So every single team gets a new jersey every year with something based around the city. Brooklyn, for example, did a really cool jersey that was based around Biggie's Kooji sweater. So there is a ton of great options for you to draw inspiration from. For lucky number 13, we have one of my favorite themes to tackle horror movie characters. Take, for example, the iconic Freddy Krueger. He has one of the best Nike SB shoes of all time. So simple, just based around his sweater. And there's so much you could do with other horror legends. Take, for example, Chucky. He also has a very colorful striped sweater that you could really play around with. Michael and Jason with their iconic machetes and knives, all the blood that you get to play around with. I love a good horror movie themed shoe. Next up, we have a Pokemon theme. So something straight out of my childhood. You have your 151 original to pick from. And I gotta imagine they're probably past a thousand at this point. Also, be sure to let me know who your favorite Pokemon is down below. I have to imagine there's not a single other person on this planet who has the same favorite Pokemon as me. I have no idea why my favorite Pokemon has and always will be 
Mr. Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime. At number 15, we have a movie poster theme, and there is a ton of great iconic ones that you could pick from. An all-time classic that always stands out to me is that one for The Dark Knight, where the Joker put the bat symbol in blood. Next up, we have a famous landmark or statues type theme. So one of the most prominent ones in the custom sneaker space is gonna be the Statue of Liberty. This is something that Nike has released their own version of, and then customizers have really put their own spin on to create some really cool pieces before. For number 17, we have a flames theme, and there's a lot of different ways that you could tackle this one. You could go with the classic hot rod type flames, or go with something that's along the lines of the Paranorman foam posits, where you actually try to create a little bit more of a realistic type look. Next up, we have a just the swoosh theme. If you plan on using a pair of Air Force Ones as your canvas, there's so much you can do with these. We've seen a ton of great iterations over the years. You can go really simple with it, or you can make it incredibly complex if you want. We've seen glitch themes, burnt swooshes, we've seen drip effects, we've seen bandana print. The possibilities are absolutely endless for what you can do here. At number 19, we have a kicks to match the fit type theme. So maybe you have a really cool jacket, something that you can never find a pair of shoes to match with. Well, now's your opportunity to design something that can go perfectly alongside that or just use that piece of clothing as inspiration for your design. And our final one for today is gonna to be a tattoo style themed shoe. So there's a ton of different tattoo styles that you can draw inspiration from. Just sift through a tattoo catalog online and you're bound to find something that you like. We've seen a lot of these styles translate really well onto shoes before, whether you're going with American traditional, big bold outlines, or you wanna play around with the beauty of classic Japanese tattooing, utilize something like a koi fish and the finger waves, the possibilities are absolutely endless when it comes to tattoo style shoes. So there you have it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video and you're able to walk away with some inspiration for your next piece. I would love to see what you guys are able to cook up. So make sure you send that over to us on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to go ahead and drop a like on this video if you haven't already. Make sure you're subscribed and everybody get out there and just create.